we see about 80% of our new customers struggling with the same issue, rigid mounting of hollow output gear reducers. Today we will talk about how gearing misalignment can be eliminated. This is part of Stober's power tips. On most conveyor systems, hollow output gear reducers are mounted directly on the conveyor shaft. In many cases, shafts are not precision machined or ground, resulting in shaft runout. Conveyor bearings may also not be completely aligned. Both of these can cause shaft to be non-concentric to the reducer bore. Typically, users will install the gear reducer on the conveyor with a pedestal mount or metal bracket. Rigid mounting prevents the gear reducer from spinning during operation. However, this can cause premature failure due to shaft runout creating radial loads on both the conveyor and the reducer bearing. In the worst case, it can fracture or break the conveyor shaft. Prolonged overhung loads can be a major maintenance challenge, costing time and money. Some movement or wobbling of the gear reducer on the conveyor shaft is normal and should not be constrained. The most common method of mounting a gear reducer is a torque arm. It allows the gear reducer to float with the runout on the shaft, eliminates bearing and shaft fatigue, and transmits the torque effectively. There are several common ways to mount a torque arm to a gear reducer. Reducers can be supplied with a torque arm bracket, or customers can choose to fabricate their own free-floating mounting assemblies. These include a turnbuckle, threaded rod, or fabricated stainless steel torque arm. A keyless bushing system allows the same gear reducer to be utilized on different size shafts by simply supplying a different bushing kit size. Stober gear reducers can be torque arm mounted. Using our keyless bushing system means you will never have to cut a reducer off the conveyor shaft again. We offer on-site installation training for your entire maintenance team and are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week for any questions. With an average mean time to failure of over 9.1 years in harsh washdown applications, we know how to make gear reducers that last. Want to learn more? Check out our free download below.